Beijos. No, no. <clears throat> Originally, I was gonna start the video like this. Paul. Paul. The Paul Sammons Protocol. Then I was gonna give you a brief overview of the aftermath that happened after my accident. So, my concussion has given me seizures, anxiety, agoraphobia. I mean, I'm tired all the time. I can't think straight. I forget. So, here it is. Everything. The Paul Stamets Protocol. And I'm gonna introduce something that I think is gonna be beneficial for my neurogenesis. If you stack lion's mane with psilocybin mushrooms with niacin, the advantage is, and I'm, this is hypothetical, but this is something I think is well worth testing, is that niacin can help drive the neurogenic benefits of psilocybin and aranacines to the end of the peripheral nervous system. Should, in theory, generate brain cells, I'm hoping that I will have better cognition and recollection and creative motivation and physical motivation. The air of your inclusion is my modifier to the whole thing. The air of air occlusion. One gram of cordyceps, 300 milligrams of solbutamide, which is a nootropic. At nighttime, it's 5,000 milligram potency of CBD, which is actually 160 milligrams, but for some people that's probably too much, so you can take 80 milligrams at night. Now the whole idea of CBD at that high potency at night is CBD acts as a neuroprotectant. So for all of the neurogenesis that I have done throughout the day, it's protected at night. Hopefully, hold and sustain the brain cells that are grew throughout the morning. So here's what happened. Friday night, I did two grams. I enjoyed my life. I'm just doing things, cleaning up the house, dancing, no big deal. Saturday night, I actually did my five gram heroic dose. Now. At a certain point in time, I needed to take more because I needed a deep dive. Week two's actually been kind of interesting. Uh, the first week I've gotten uh, really into the way I do movements in my fitness. It's, it's really interesting when all three mushrooms are working synergistically together in conjunction with a good tribal music. For some reason, tribal beats get my body going. <laughs> and I, uh, I'm doing movements that are, that are fluid and, and, and fun. And I want to work out more when, I, I, when I'm on psilocybin and line to make the cordyceps. My brain is firing just nonstop. I got these ideas, so I'm working out, stopping on my breaks, I'm writing things down or doing something. That all my brain cells are fucking on fire after I work out, and it's amazing. I'm getting back into art, I'm getting back into uh, creation, I'm getting back into wanting to do things to, to explore an idea. I'm more in tune. Thoughts and, and ideas are living things. This is becoming more pertinent in my everyday life where I hear something or I, I, I envision like a thought will come into the ether, into my own realm, and I immediately have to either A, write it down, or for some reason it's visual, so I'm like, I'm, I'm drawing it somehow in some way, or hell, I've also just been doing voice, re uh, yeah, I've just been recording my voice, taking notes taking notes on the iPad. So I'm gonna stop the video right here because there's so much more to get into in regards to mental health and fitness that I'm gonna to need to do multiple videos. This is me making an effort to step out more and share with everyone. Honestly, this video took forever to make because my fear and anxiety had me locked into a feedback loop and it was, it was tough to break out of, but through multiple ego deaths and a deep study of gnosis that's ongoing I'm able to be more open and be more in tune with everyone so thank you for your patience stay tuned for more I'm gonna I'm gonna share as much as I can see you guys on the next one